the game changer. Call me once. Defensively, um, Steve's been sliding you on ones and twos and threes and all over the floor. I mean, what do you think about your ability to guard those multiple positions? Um, I think I can guard multiple positions. You know, especially on the front court, just kind of like trying to you know, disrupt the offense a little bit. You know, but um, they can give me you know, a lot of responsibilities on this taking head on. You know, accepting the challenge and trying to be the best defender I can be. Andrew, uh, when you look at uh, the Wizards' three-point numbers tonight, they were 20 for 30 as a team. For you guys as a team, do you think of it as, you know, they have had a couple of red-hot shooters and there's not much you can do, or do you think there's a lot that you guys can do to limit numbers like that? Um, there's a lot that we can do. You know, um, I feel like in that first quarter, we didn't come out. I know the other side, Steve was saying when he was here that, uh, you know, especially when you know, like the drive and the basket because Steph tracks a lot of attention. You know, he's something that you have to watch and look at every time he's on the floor. You know, you can't sleep, you can't relax on him at all. You know, so that's going to open up the floor for everybody else. Uh, over to your left again. Honestly, uh, what's the toll of playing with eight guys, nine guys every night? You know, after a few games, how does that start to feel for an athlete? Um, you know, it is what it is. You know, I've been in this position before. You know, when I was in Minnesota, you know, there's a lot of times that we have, you know, not a lot of players. Um, so it's not, you know, terrible. We're all young, you know, so I feel like we're not getting tired that easily. Playing through everything, you know, it's going to be up and down. So you can see, we're just fighting through, trying to finish strong. What are your thoughts on the pace that you guys are playing at, and is it different much from what it was like in Minnesota? Oh, for sure. You know, for sure. The pace of this team is you know, it's fast. Up and down, up and down, pushing the ball ahead. So it's a little bit. Andrew, you, you mentioned playing with guys, you know, younger, not a lot of experience. Uh, Steve, Seem pretty high on, on Mike Mulder after tonight, um, specifically against uh, Bradley Beal after the 22 point first quarter. Say so threw him on to Bradley and kind of slowed down that, that tempo and limited him to 34 overall for the night. What did you see from Michael tonight and how do you think he's kind of getting along under this 10 contract? Um, he's been doing great, you know, on both sides of the floor, defensively, he's getting after it. You know, he's showing up when he can defend you know, multiple positions. You know, he's fast. He's He's stronger than he looks. Um, and on offense, you know, he's shooting the ball well. You know, he's playing with confidence, attacking, you know, he's doing everything we need to do. He's been great. Last one. For you know, how much of the defending the three ball on the other team, how much of it is execution and how much of it is just effort? Because, I mean, you guys are playing with guys who yeah. barely know each other in some ways, you know. Yeah. I wouldn't say it's too much effort because we're all playing hard. You know, we came out playing hard, but I just feel like we didn't follow the Great, thank you. We'll have a couple more in here shortly.